Hey guys, how's it going? So, super exciting video today. It's been a video uh, we've wanted to make for a while. I'm out today fishing with my old man. Uh, we're fishing on the Snake River and we're gonna be using antique bass lures today. So what we got going on here is we got a whole bunch, three tackle boxes full of of really old or antique lures here. Um, can you want to take one out there for show us, Pops? Let's take a look here. So here we have a hidden torpedo, and um, you can see it's been through the ringer, uh, but it's wood. It's got little metal eyes. Hooks look like they're pretty ancient. So let's give it a whirl. That looks like a really good color. Yeah. I wonder how old that thing is. Oh, it's got to be at least as old as I am. That's old. All right, and then for me, the first one I'm going to try is this really old, crazy-looking crankbait. Has this little tiny spinner on the back. Really good hooks on it still. I wonder if the people, I think the people probably, uh, the guy who put this collection together that we got, um, he probably changed out the hooks on them unless they've just been kept in mint condition or maybe they don't make hooks like they used to. But anyway, it's a crazy old crankbait here, so I'm going to throw this one first thing. It has on the description of it, paw paw, but then it has a question mark, like they aren't sure, so I don't know what to call it. Ooh, I may have just had a bite. Oh! It snapped. And it wasn't even that big, of, I mean, it was just like a nice bass bite. Is it, uh... No, it was, oh yeah, there it is. A fish, but I, I got a nice, I don't know what caused that. Is that that new line? No, no. See, it it, it, uh, it broke right by, like right up here by the reel. Well, that was the first hit. Uh, unfortunately, I had a, something with my line that was really strange. Yeah, it's like all crinkled up. Almost looks like it's burnt. Yeah, it looks like it's burnt or something. All right, so we're tied back on here. Let's try this again. Got the first bite of the day on it, though. I mean, I was only using it probably two minutes. I got one. Yeah, on the antique lure. On that paw paw crankbait. <laughs> First fish ever on an antique lure. Look at that. It's pretty color. You look a healthy one. Yeah. That is cool. My first smallmouth on an antique lure. I got one. You got another? On the very next cast. Oh, he got off. He oh got off. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Very next cast. That was down there deep. Yes. So, my dad um, has been collecting these antique lures over time from different auctions and stuff. And uh, some of them that we've gotten, uh, they've, they've been in really good condition, like fishing condition. And so, he, I can't remember who had the idea, but one of us had the idea of just like taking them out and trying them. The Stand ones, up. yeah, the ones that were in good condition, might as well. We'll have the, the really old ones in a display case on the wall, but then uh, try these other ones for, just for fun. 
on that old dingbat. On the on the dingbat? Yep, with that with that big metal leader. Oh, it's a nice smallie. This is very cool. Fishing with antiques. Oh, that's a beautiful yeah, fish. Let me sure get, get it in. Yeah. Thank you. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Okay, let's so see. This look lure. At this. Here, we'll get the, the lure out first and then show it. Oh, this lure, it's called a dingbat. It's from the 1930s. It's like a little tiny shallow running crankbait. Yeah, I'll give that to you. Beautiful fish. There we go. <laughs> nice job, Papa. That's your first fish on it. Yeah, first antique bait fish. All right, so check this little, this is a little, it's called a dingbat. It has that funky metal lip on it. It says dingbat right on the bottom. It's old fashioned wood. Show the leader. Oh yeah, and it has this weird like wire leader, like it was used for pike or something that back fish, in the that day. That bass wanted it. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> that was stinking cool. <laughs> On an 80 year old lure? Yeah. You know, they don't make lures like that anymore. <laughs> Got him. Got it again? Yep. Two casts in a row. Oh, that's like a nice one. Let me get the net. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good one. Oh, man. He's under. We're in really strong current. Got him. <laughs> Two in a row. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Highly recommend the antique dingo. <laughs> <laughs> what if you can find these on Amazon? I'll have to look. If I find any, I'll put links in the description. What, that probably dives like five or six feet? Yeah, I think so. Nice. There's a fish. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I was about to pull it the other way. Woo! I'll just let them in. Yes, number two yes. from the Paul Paul crankbait. <laughs> Look at that! Isn't that crazy, crazy crankbait. Beautiful. Still catching fish after all these years. Wonder how many people have used this right. bait, yeah, to catch fish. Like, were there guys fishing with this in the 1940s and catching it? Wow. You know. got one right right in front of that oh, it's a good one right in front of that uh, yeah crate there Woo! <laughs> I think I got him oh it's not a it was hooked on top of his head so it felt funny ouch whoa almost got me Another gorgeous fish he has like a little scar on the side that is so cool though dang I love this this is fun Check this out right up here. There's some big boulders underwater and the current's just ripping by them. This is fantastic for smallmouth. <laughs> this is crazy. Just giant boulders. Oh, okay, I do have one. That was really weird. In the strong current, it was kind of hard to feel it. Oh, wow. The th number th th three, if I can land him. Sweet. Number three. Another smallie. This Paw Paw crankbait. Right where the current was rushing by. Look at that. Another keeper smallie on that crazy crankbait. Cool. There he goes. 
right by these big rocks, these great big boulders and stuff down here. That'll wreck a boat right there. Great spot for smallmouth though. I got one. It's a big one. Get the net, please. Unless I foul hooked him. I mean, he annihilated it. Oh, it was right under his chin. <laughs> well, that's a good fish, though. I mean, not a giant. I mean, I, I'm not kidding you. He stopped. I stopped reeling. He hit it so hard. Again, on that crazy paw paw crankbait, number five. So we moved up to a different spot here, up river. The current out there is super strong, super powerful. And then this rock point comes out it's right up here. And it's a nice little rocky bank. It should be killer for these smallmouth. You got one already. Oh, he threw it. Sorry. That was cool. We had a crazy hard winter this year and uh, you can see how high the water came up. From the winter runoff, we had so much snow and hardly anybody fish the uh, the Snake River because it was so raging from the runoff. Got him. But they just crush well, they it. Just crush I mean, that wasn't even a, a big fish. And he, I mean, ah, I mean, he just stopped my reeling. That's a smallmouth, a river smallmouth. Just, it's not bad. Not bad. Number six, I think. Five or six. That's six. Yeah, yeah, six, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to do a smallmouth catch and cook here soon. Not today. It's too hot to make a fire. We brought fried chicken with us. You got a nice one. Or at least they crush it real hard. I'm gonna, I'll get the net. I looked over. Yeah, I know. I thought I was like, we used to have a snagger. I'm going to keep this down because this might be Oh yes, that's big one of the oh day. Gosh, he said. <laughs> wow. On the little dingbat. Is that that's what that's it's called, the, right? Yeah, dingbat. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Golly, thank Still you. catching fish after all these years. Look at that fish. Put little chunks on it. That little old crankbait <laughs> from the 1930s. I wonder how many fish over the years that's oh, caught. Oh golly. <laughs> How do it's they like, say that that lure could talk, huh? All right, here we're gonna weigh this guy up. Two, four, six. Wow. Nice job. Wow. That's a nice That's smallmouth for Idaho. Guys. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. We had a crazy good time out really here. Good. Yes. This little, oh, this little paw paw crankbait, getting it done today. If you guys know what this is please tell me in the comment section. And then my dad. Little dingbat from the 30s. Glass eyes, three colored. There's orange in the middle, yellow on the outside, and a little black bead in the middle. Really cool lure, ran on the bottom. I don't know, it's, I don't know how many fish it's caught, but it sure caught a lot of them today. Uh -huh. So I had a great time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that subscribe button if you are new. We will definitely be, in fact, we'll be doing this again because most of the baits that we got our top waters That's right. so we need a top water bite and to try some of those really crazy old top water baits out so we'll definitely be in doing uh, another one of these videos thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one